What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is my initial impressions of the MacBook Air M1. Now the M1 is an ARM processor and it's super crazy powerful and you've probably heard that a million times and I just want to add my own you know, two cents to this discussion because it's completely blown me away. Now I want to, I'm not going to dive into every single thing that you can do with it because I'm going to talk about the things that I personally use it for. So first of all, I got this mainly as my uh, on the road kind of video editing machine or if you know I have a son at home so maybe he's going to get in my way and I want to be able to edit while I watch him or edit outside or whatever because I have this channel I put out so much content and the the app that I use when I video edit is DaVinci Resolve. So, I've already edited two videos on this machine and versus my desktop machine which is an i9 9900K 32 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte SSD, 1080 Ti Nvidia uh, graphics card. It's fully spec'd out. It's like a when I when I bought it, it's about like a $2,400 machine. Very expensive. This one maxed out because I got the uh, the step up for the MacBook Air. It was like the $1,250 version plus. I end up having I uh, got a little bit more uh, RAM in there. Has 512 gigs of storage. And uh, this one maxed out at a little under 1500 bucks. I ended up trading in my old MacBook Pro to reduce the cost big time on this. But anyways, back to the performance. This destroys my desktop. So in the time that it took to do my video editing on my the desktop versus this MacBook Air, as you can see from my tweet right here that I put out yesterday, the video was four minutes, 44 seconds. It was a 4K 60 quality video. The MacBook Air M1 re rendered the video in seven minutes and 41 seconds. The PC took 15 minutes, 42 seconds. That's eight minutes longer, basically double the time that it took to do with the MacBook Air. This is crazy because in the past, the MacBook Air has been one of their lowest performing MacBooks. This is a game changer. And for the price which you pay, this is less expensive and potentially more powerful with much better battery life. So I'm very, very happy. It's a video editing machine with DaVinci Resolve. I know you can use you know, uh, Apple's uh, programs that they have and other companies as well, but the one I use, again, which is not even, it's not even optimized for ARM processors, is still cutting through all of that video with this extremely powerful M1 ARM processor inside. Now, battery life, I, I haven't like charged it up to 100 and just used it out max, you know, like just regular. It's kind of been all over the place. I've done updates, system updates for the for the for the computer. I've done video editing, some browsing. I've done app updates. So it hasn't really like had a real just normal days use of uh, of the machine. I've played a little bit of gaming on here because you can actually download some of the you know iPhone and iPad apps onto this along with the traditional Mac apps as well. Now, you can do some gaming on here. You could hook up a, a, a controller to it if you wanted, like a, a gaming controller, which I don't have one nearby, but you can get into that. So this is able to do some pretty you know, decent gaming, and this is only going to get better as more iPhone and iPad apps become uh, compatible with this machine or these machines, these M1 processor so you know these things are beastly completely beastly so you do get two usb-c ports on the left and you're going to use those usb ports to pretty much do anything you can use it to charge the machine you know you can do the uh, add more ports like uh like one of these things right here which i use and this one is awesome i'll link it down below this one is multiple ports hdmi and then on the other side you get a headphone jack kind of weird from apple but you do get that headphone jack and that's all of the ports that you get with this machine. You also get a fingerprint sensor, which works fantastic. It's in the top right, and it works really, really well. Um, you can use it for Apple Pay, you can use it for inside of certain apps like you would with a traditional uh, tablet or phone, and it's very accurate, very fast. It's awesome, I absolutely love it. Now traditionally I use Google Chrome as my browser, and they just put out a new update that is optimized 
for this M1 processor, which makes it even completely like faster browsing, loading up the apps, loading up tabs, running as basically as many tabs as you want without this machine slowing down. A fellow tech guy that I follow, Stephen Hall, has shown off a couple of tweets that he has, what he's done on this machine. With Chrome on his MacBook, like I was saying earlier, he has the eight gigabyte version, I have the 16 gig version, you can see, he had 12 tabs open, and I know he did one, we had up to 40 tabs, and playing four 4K videos, and still was able to do whatever he want without this machine slowing down. It's truly amazing what this thing could do. One thing uh, that I've kind of heard, and, and you might have heard as well, I didn't see anybody really complaining about this thing getting hot. The MacBook Air, when I use DaVinci Resolve and it's rendering the video, it does get hot at the bottom and you can feel it at up, up top a little bit as well but it does get hot um i, I could have swore i didn't see anybody writing that and i haven't really watched too many people's other videos so it does get hot it's not like even though it's fanless which pretty well it's not fanless but it you know has one or two fans depending upon which one you get it still gets hot so don't think this thing doesn't get hot it it does get hot but it still is running really really well so at that point if you're getting this machine for video editing it's a go, it's amazing. If you're getting it to do you know, basic web browsing or just general computer usage, get it. It's awesome, it's amazing. If you're doing it for watching videos or listening to music, it sounds good. I'm gonna play uh, a quick little video right here uh, to show you that the sound off on here. I mean, it's not like the best sound ever for a MacBook. I think the pros probably have better audio than this one does. But still, for the air, it's definitely quality sound. Play my newest video. What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's jump into the tech news. First story of the day is about Google Pay, which is quality. Not like super duper loud, but it's definitely gonna be loud enough for what you need to do. It also has Bluetooth and then the headphone jack as well if you need to uh, get additional sound into there, or better sound, I should say. The display looks great. It's a 2560 by 1600 display. No problems with that. The nits brightness is, I believe it's 400 or 500 on the MacBook Air. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I thought it looked completely fine. I don't really have any complaints with uh, the brightness on here. Overall, it it's definitely gets the job done. But this MacBook is basically for anyone. Whatever you do, I think you're gonna be extremely happy with it. You're going to do it for Zoom calls. It's got that. It's got, a, it's got a camera up there. It's so powerful. You're going to get good battery life from what I've seen from, from others and articles and things like that. I, I don't have a, a full opinion about that. It does get hot if you're going to do some high-end stuff like video editing, stuff like that, especially if it's 4K, 60, it definitely gets warm. But overall, it's amazing. It's easy to type on. I love this. I'm so glad I got this. It's so much better feeling and faster than my MacBook Pro, which was a 2018 edition. Blows it out of the water completely. Amazing machine. I'm gonna close it. Pick one up. I'll link it down below. I have nothing but good things to say about this. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.